today we'll be creating baby shark name centerpiece and we we'll also be printing out insert for our seven inch plates and our 10 ounce cups let's go ahead first and start with the circles the images of the circles i found them in google and i cleaned them up i converted them and uploaded them to design space when you look up images in google you have to be very careful with the dpi meaning that's a resolution the resolution of the picture it's better if you get them 300 and higher that way when you cut out your when you print your image if it's less than 300 it will not it will come out maybe blurry or the colors will be not that bright and even if you size your image to let's say a 15 inch it will be blurry and not look fine so you have to uh get your images to have a good resolution in order for you to achieve the the brightness and to avoid that the images being blurry now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and images and i'm going to type in baby shark And I'm looking for an image that I have, baby shark, where is it, right here. This image right here, I click on the image, and let's go ahead and, that's for the plate. Once you click on your image, you'll see it in the bottom of your screen. Now, I'm going to look also, let me go ahead and click on filter, and I'm going to click on my images and I'm going to click on purchase so it can bring it up I'm going to click on each of these of the shark let me see if I want them no I don't need not this one and not this one if you click on it by mistake you'll notice in the bottom of the screen if you click it again you won't see it so let's click on these without the fork and you'll see them right here in the bottom of the screen once that's done, I need more. There's nothing else here. Let's go back up here where it says Baby Shark. Delete that. And let's click on seaweed. I need seaweed. I need starfish. And I need waves. Uh, what else I need? I need the corals. And I need bubbles. Let me see what comes up. And let's click on enter remember we have the filter of images and purchase so this is what I need right here now we're gonna start clicking on the images we will be using I found this particular image SVG and I ungrouped it okay let's go ahead and click on that we already have all the images that we're going to use and insert images we're going to leave that to the end for the end okay let's go ahead and click on that big circle right there let me zoom out it's huge let me just zoom out the screen click on the big circle and let's go ahead and size the plates insert of the plates will be a four by four okay i can't find it so I'm just going to start eliminating these so I can not eliminate it right here. It's right back here. It was all the way at the bottom. <laughs> okay, I'm going to duplicate it. Okay. One, four by four is the plate insert. Next one will be for the 10 ounce cups, which will be 2.5 by 2.5. We click on the image, go to the bar, unlock, and size. And again, lock it. We have that. We set it aside. Now, for the sharks, they will be, all these images right here you see on your left-hand side will be for the uh, name centerpiece. So the sharks will be, each one of them, will be three by three. Oh, what happened? Just, if that happens, just click on cancel and it'll take you back to your canvas. I don't know what happened. Okay, 
click on the image, unlock, and let's do a three by three. I will do that with all the sharks. Okay, we're done sizing the sharks. Now we're gonna go ahead. The sharks will be a print and cut. So what I'm going to do is, with the image clipped, you go on to the right-hand side at the bottom and you click on flatten. You're gonna set it aside. Now we're gonna do that with all the sharks. And if you notice on your right hand side, you'll see right here, cut print, all of the sharks. Now let's go ahead and take the starfish. Let's go ahead and flatten it first because sometimes when you have an SVG, this, this is SVG, if you notice on your right hand side, you'll see it right here is piece by piece. I don't want an SVG, I want print and cut. For some reason, when you change it from SVG to a print and cut, you have to resize it. So let's go ahead and do that first, flatten it first, and then go ahead and resize. The starfish will be 3.5 by 3.5, but we're going to go ahead and flatten it first. Once you flatten it, we go ahead and size it 3.5 by 3.5. These cutouts are sized to fit a 7.25 wood letter, standalone wood letters. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and set it aside. Let's go ahead and take our, the waves. For the waves, I'm going to change the color. The waves will not be a print and cut. They are SVGs, meaning you'll cut them piece by piece on colored cardstock. You do not print. You will load to your machine your glittered or your colored cardstock for your machine to recognize what it'll be cutting and it will cut the waves on whatever cardstock you add. So we're going to go ahead into the right hand side, unclick. No, not that one. I'm sorry, the waves. The waves will go ahead and ungroup because I want to change the colors. The top will be dark blue. You click on the image, you go in between line type and fill, that green a teal square, you click on it and you get your colors that you want. I wanted a dark blue and then the bottom one will be the same color because I have my glittered card stuck the same color. And you go ahead and just put it back together. And we highlight the image, group it, and then we're going to go ahead and size it. The waves will be six by four. Click on the image right here at the top. Six and by four. And lock. No, not a six by four, I'm sorry. Let's do a three, it's too high. Nope, let's do a 2.5, see what happens. Much better, six by 2.5. And we go ahead and set it aside. We're done with that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our bubbles I'm gonna change the colors of the bubbles. I'm gonna put them blue and I'm going to blue and white. We click on the image. We go to the right hand side and we ungroup. Once you ungroup, let's click on the image again. Okay. 
you go to your right hand side, you unclick whatever is hidden, the eye. So we're just going to go ahead and release the images. We don't need the black ones, we eliminate it. The back one will be a baby blue. You click on the image, you go in between light type and line type and fill, click on that teal box, and we get our light blue. I change colors just to remind myself how I'm going to cut it and, you know, the colors I'm using. So let's just get another light blue. Let me see. I want it lighter. Where is it? Right here. Light blue. And then once you do that, you click on the other one and click on the box and that is white. I'm going to leave this one SVG. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight that image and group it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it because I think I'm going to use two of them. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to duplicate them just in case. No, not duplicate. Yes, duplicate them because they'll be different sizes. So for the bubbles, we have 2.5 by 6. We click on the image. We go in between right here, unlock 2.5 by 6, and we lock. Next one, I will do a two by four. I want one. Okay, we set that aside. And if you notice on your right hand side, you it has cut because it's an SVG. You know what? Since I have all these print and cut, no, I'm gonna leave it that way. Okay, we have that one ready. Let's go ahead with the coral. Now, this one right here, we're going to go ahead and highlight the image, go to the right-hand side, ungroup. We don't need the black shadow. X out of it. X out of it. And this will be with glittered cardstock, and it will remain SVG, a cut image. So what we're going to do is, I need a green, blue, and the small one will be orange. So this, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to change the color. Click on the image, click on the box, and you'll get your green color. Leave this one blue and click on this one. And we're going to go ahead and get our color. There is. Now we're going to go ahead and size them. The small one will be 2.5 by 2.9. We click on the image, you unlock and change your size. And we lock. And these will be three by six. Again, click on the image, go to the top, unlock, and it's a three by six. And we lock. This one we will do the same. And we lock. I'm still missing some other seeds, but I'll go back and get them. Okay, now we have the fishes, they are done. Let's get this coral right here. This will be a four by five. And we lock it. We're going to go ahead over here on the right hand side. Leave, you can leave it grouped. And the back one will be a dark green. If you click on it right here, you just go right here in this little box in the upper left corner and we change it to dark green. And then the one on the top will be a teal like same color as this wave which will be a little bit lighter let me see if it's this one now we can leave it that way and then the one on the top will be a like a minty color okay let's up which go on the top again and we change it to mint okay there it is and this will be a cut image as well 
set this aside and set this one aside. Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and unlock and just put it as big as you can so you can see it and then we'll size it later. So I'm just going to take a little bit of, oh, come on, okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Ungroup. You click on the image, we ungroup. And we're going to start eliminating what we don't need, which is all these right here. Just take out what you don't need. Uh, what are just taking out what I do need, right? Which is this one. I'm using this one. I'm using this one, this one, and this one. This one, this is the starfish that I was looking. I'm gonna make this one, and I don't need that one. I need one of these, and I need one of these. Wait, let me see here. Maybe I don't need all of them, because they're duplicated. This one is duplicated. That I need, and I need this one. Okay, I need these three, and that will be it. Okay, go ahead and highlight in the corner so we can highlight this entire image. And we can go ahead and delete it. Go ahead and corner and delete. I'm just deleting what I won't be using. And delete. Let's bring this up. Now, for these, what we're going to do is, this one will be a three by six, which is the pink one and the yellow one. We want to set it aside and let's get the yellow. Also, we're going to do a three by six. And let's get the red one and it's the same size. Three by six. All these three will be as well print and cut. If, let me get it right here. Click on this image. We're gonna go ahead to the bottom of the screen and we're gonna click on flatten. We don't want this in SVG because if you noticed, it has a lot of cuts and we, look, it has too, way too many cuts. Click on the image, go to the bottom of the screen, and click on flatten. And you do it the same with this one. Click on the image, click on flatten. Once you flatten, you go back, click on the image to verify if it remained the same size. And these did. Put that aside. Let's bring this. Let me see if I have some. Nope. That'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this one because I found the pink one that I wanted. But you know what? I'm going to leave it just in case. Just going to size it. Click on it, and we're doing a 3.5 by 3.5. We lock it. Then we go to the bottom of the screen. You see right here it's a cut. We do not want that SVG. We want a print and cut. We go ahead and click on flatten. We set it aside. This one will be a, oh, let me do this one, I'm sorry. This will be a 2.2 by 7. Click on the image, type in 2.2 by 7, and we lock it. So we have that one. And this one will be a five by three. Click on the image, unlock, five and by three, lock. With the image clicked, you go on the bottom of the screen and you click on flatten. Let's move it up here. This little fish also will be a 2.5 by 2.5. I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. Lock, and you go to the bottom of your screen, and you click on flatten. 
move this right here. We have this one saved. Okay. This one will be 5.5 .5 by 3. Click on the image and again. Pretty simple sizing, resizing, and changing colors. And we go ahead and lock. With the image click, you go to your right hand side and we click on flatten. Remember, you are flattening the image because we want these cutouts to be print and cut, except for some of these corals, some of these plants, which we want them glittered. Okay, I'm missing a seashell and a crab. But before we do that, I'm going to duplicate my fishes because I need smaller ones as well. Because I'm going to place the fishes on two different letters and one of the letters is kind of smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead, highlight all these five fishes and just click on duplicate. And you'll have your five. And let's move them back where they were. Go back here and then we have to do this one by one. You can't click all the fishes and resize them. It doesn't work, not with design space. Let's go ahead and click on each one of them and we will size them two by two. Okay, once you do that, you can go ahead and highlight all the little fishies and but highlight the fishies and you can move them. Now. I was saying that I needed the crab, seashell, and I think that's about it. Yes, a crab and a seashell. What I'm going to do, you click on images. Click on, clicking on images will not delete what you already have on your canvas. Do not worry about that. If you click on new, yes, it will delete what you have on your canvas. I already have it here, images and purchase, my filters. So what I'm going to do is this crab and this seashell. Insert images. So what I'm going to do, get the little crab and I'm gonna change the color. Click on the crab, Go to the box and we're gonna change it to orange. Let's get a light orange. And then we're gonna size our crab, which will be a three by three. And we lock it. And the back part of the of the seashell, I'm going to make it, you know what? I'm gonna leave it pink. And then let me see if the top part, I can change it to yellow. Go to your right hand side, with your image clicked, you go on ungroup first. Click again the image, click on the black shadow, click on the eye, and we're going to delete that one. We don't need the black one. So let's go ahead the top one. I'm going to leave the back, the back in pink. Let's change this color, see how it looks. Let me use a yellow. Oh. Let me use a light purple. Oh, that looks nice. And we go ahead Highlight the image. Let's group it. Grouping the image will just allow you to move it all around your campus. This will be an SVG. Let's size it and our seashell will be a 4 by 3.9. Unlock 4 and we go ahead and size 3.9 and we lock it. What it is, the crab will be on top arrange it to the front if that happens. The crab will be on top of your seashell. Okay, we'll set that aside and we are done with all our cutouts. What I'm going to do is, since I said before I'm going to make two of each, I'm going to hide my circles because for my circles, 
I need 24 of each. And if I, on the other side, if I click on 24, it'll add 24 of each of these cutouts. So click on my, click on the circle, go to the right hand side, hide it. Click on the next circle and you hide it. Hiding your images will not delete them from your canvas. It's just to hide them. Make sure all your images are correct. Let's just move them to the side. Seashell. I'm just going to do it one by one. It's just verifying if they're fine. If they are not, you go on your right hand side and fix it. It has to be all of them flattened. Well, the ones you want print and cut. The crab will be a cut. This little fishy is flattened. All these are flattened the fishes. And how you know when you click on your image, you'll see right here that says cut and print. But even though it says cut and print, please also check at the bottom that it says unflattened. When it says unflattened, that means it's flattened. So we do this one. These are good to go. And these are good to go. This is SVG. And this is a print and cut. Print and cut. And cut. This is the SVG. SVG, these are SVG. SVG, the waves are SVG, and this is duplicated, so it's a flat, and that's fine. And these are SVG. Now, this one has to be flattened. We click on the image and we go ahead and flatten it. And we're good to go. Go to your right hand side and just go one by one right here, and we are fine. Click on make it. Here we're going to project copies to apply. Well, I would put two more fishes fit here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay, let's go one by one and we are good to go. Let's fix this right here. Let's use eight and a half by 11, 65 pound paper, cardstock. The orange will be glittered cardstock. So I'm going to bring in to this to the mat to save on cardstock. We click on the image, move to another mat, and we select the mat you want to move to. And let's place it right here. Next image, we do the same. Click on the image, three little dots, move to another mat, and we click on that one as well. We place it here. Next is the seaweeds. That remains the same. It's mint. This one is the dark green. That one remains the same. This is a lighter blue. And that's a even lighter blue. These are the waves, which is a dark. Okay, and this is a light purple, which we can use eight and a half by 11. And this one also can be an eight and a half by 11. And we're good to go. We're going to start printing and then we cut. Once you're satisfied, once you're done, we click on continue. Let me go ahead and load my printer. The first couple of images will be print and cut. I will load my printer with 65 pound white cardstock. After I print that, I will load it to my machine so my machine can cut all these images. Now, let's go ahead and select our machine. I'm going to select my Explorer and let's go ahead and send to printer. Okay, let's go ahead and click on. Before you click on print, I'm sorry, your printer, you select the printer you'll be using. Copies one because I already, here on this side, I already um, had placed two copies of each. Bleed, leave it on so it can cut a little bit further out the edge. Just in case it does not cut completely, you can just go ahead and do it manually. And, no, I don't want to cancel. Why is it doing this? Okay, and we print. I like to print all at once and then goes to the machine. Next image, we'll do this with all our prints. Okay, once you print out first all those images, we're going to go back to the top click on that first image 
Now we're going to go ahead and your material. You're going to set your material to cardstock. And you'll see it when it starts changing. Right there, cardstock. Then what we do is load your mat to your machine. You should have your blade in clamp B. And then once that's done, you go ahead and press the flashing button. I'm going to do that for all of these print and cuts. And we'll be right back. Okay, now that we're done with all of our print and cuts, we're going to go ahead and start cutting with glittered cardstock and regular cardstock. Now, I already cut this one. The first, this one was with regular 65 pound white cardstock. I loaded my machine with that cardstock and the machine cut out all these bubbles. Next will be the 65 pound glittered orange cardstock. You just go ahead and stick it onto your mat, load it to your machine, and have your machine cut it. Let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. I'm going to change my dial to poster board. And then I'm just going to go ahead and load my mat. Well, it's on fabric. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, it stopped on fabric. I don't know. I'm changing it. And okay, right there, poster board. I'm gonna load my mat. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one by one. And these right here, the seaweeds, will be green, glittered cardstock, and so on. This one will be regular blue cardstock, and then the rest will be glittered, glittered. And as we go on, this is the last one glittered. Okay, I'm going to cut all these out. We're going to head and click on cancel. We go back to the canvas. And let's go ahead and highlight the entire canvas here. Let me see if I can do this. I just don't want to go one by one and hide it. Because we still need to cut out the circles. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. Okay, we just click on group and then we hide. And then let's go right here on the right hand side of the bottom of the screen and we unclick the circles. It'll be much easier like this. Once you do that, we click on make it and we are going to cut out 24 of each size. I'm going to type in here 24, not 24, I'm sorry, 2, let's click apply, and that way it can fit on one page. So what we do is, what I do is click on continue, you select the machine you'll be working with, and then when I send it to the printer, I'll just go ahead and here, I'll make 10 copies, I select my printer, then print. Then I come back and print another 10 copies. It will be 30. I'll just say six of them. I'm sorry, not six of them. We click on 10 four times. We print them and then we go ahead. Once you have all your 48 printed, then we go ahead. We stick it to the mat, load it to your machine, and let it cut. That black box you see around your images I did not mention this earlier that black box means the registration marks your machine needs to read the reg registration marks in order for it to know what to cut once we cut these I'll see you back at the table now that our letters are dry I gave it two coats let's go ahead and bring in our sticker machine I have the Anna Griffin creative station sticker machine i have the nine inch cartridge what i'm going to do is just turn it around i'm going to add two images at a time facing down because this is for the plates and we're gonna go ahead and start so we can make our stickers
Okay, once you're done, you go ahead and a little bit feed it a little bit more. Press down and uh, we slice. Let me put these down. They're gonna keep falling because I'm moving the table. Okay, once that is finished. here on this side I had a little bit of adhesive on another cartridge I had okay now let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and do one of each because I have 36 it wasn't 24 it's 36 of each that I have to make and it'll be time consuming if I sit here and start sticking 36 cups and 36 Uh, plates Let me get the straws as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and get one straw So I can show you how it will come out Let me get the straw Case of straws here. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one. Sophia, I need you to stop, okay? Okay, first let's go ahead and start with the cup. I have gloves on because I don't like handling food items without no gloves. I have the cup and then we have our stickers here. So what I do is just peel the back and apply it on the cup. Cup. 
That's the cup. And we take the plate. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear get I'm just gonna go ahead and get a piece of this one, just this one. And remove the film. Remove your sticker. And we're going to go ahead and place the sticker right on the back of the plate. Okay, there we go. You have your plate. Beautiful. Now, we're done with this. I'm just going to go ahead and set it aside. So we can start with the letters. A little bit time consuming for the letters. It won't be that bad. Let me just go ahead and clean all this up a little bit. This back here. Santiago, I need you to stop because the voy a llevar para arriba. Okay? Okay, the first, the first letter will be the A. And I'm going to bring in what we're going to glue on. So, this one will be all the small sharks. It has to be the small ones because the big ones won't fit. Let me just go ahead and grab the small ones. Oh, this is the these are the big ones. I'm sorry guys. Because we're adding five. Let's put them aside. One, two. Five. We don't need that. Then we have the coral. Then we have the little fishy. Can be here in the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead. My glue gun is ready. Okay, what do we take the letter and we are going to place this here? I'm just gonna try it first. Let me see. We can put it here. And then this one goes on top. Somewhere here in the corner. And then we're 
you're going to add, you're going to glue on the fishies right here. This one will go here. Just like that. So I'm just going to put it on the table. Set it back on the table. Remove this. And we're going to go ahead and start gluing. I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing all of this. I'm using Gorilla Glue. Okay, we have the first letter. Go ahead and set it aside. 